I lost my virginity when I was 18 years old. I was uh, in high school, senior year, I believe. Um, so let me give you some context. The reason why it took so long for me to have sex is because um, I naturally like don't like children. I don't. It's not that I don't hate them. I just don't like how small they are and that they're very like they need a lot of attention and also the fact that they're just like like they just don't leave like you know they're just always there man <laughs> and they want things and they don't explain what they want like they don't articulate things that they need they kinda just want everything and are mad for everything so I don't like children so I had this huge fear of of having a child when I wasn't ready I was like I don't want children and then all my brothers had children so I kind of like understood how much work it is so I was like nah I'm good dude I don't need that in my life um, so when I was 14 I actually almost had sex uh, some context uh, I was so afraid of having children that I remember when I was 14 there we were it was like a gear up thing they were we were like La Quinta there was these like it was like other schools that stayed uh, we had stayed the night for I don't know what the hell it was and boys were on one side girls on the other and we had like a party unbeknownst to the staff that where the girls came over and we messed around a little bit with like kissing games but some of the girls stayed over and long story short one got in my bed one got in my buddy's bed my buddy was smacking over there and so I guess uh, get, uh, like the girl wanted to smack too with me and I was like oh no I like don't have a condom and she was like, I don't care, let's do it anyways. And I was like, oh no, I do not want to have sex with this like girl. I mean, like it was kind of like the first time I had seen like titties like up close was like a big deal for me because they were huge. But it was kind of like, oh no, like I do not want kids. I do not want little children. I'm afraid of them. Um, so we ended up, she just jerked me off. I kind of like, we made out a lot. Um, like fingered her and stuff. Um, and she, I do remember, uh, distinctly she said that my penis was like a, uh, like a candy bar. She probably meant king size, I think. Um, so, moving on to when I was 18 years old, right? Um, when I was 18 years old, I kind of gave myself the green light of like, you know, I'm 18 years old, I'm an adult, I can, I, I know I can't, I will not get a girl pregnant if I take the pre, pre, precaution precaution pre, pre uh, whatever um so i said hey i'm gonna i'm giving myself a green light like i wasn't like super like oh man i need to have sex now because i was still a virgin and i don't know when you're a virgin you're not thinking about sex all the time like once you have sex once you have sex you're like always thinking about it but when you haven't had sex you're kind of like nah eh, it's kind of this new thing you don't know maybe you want to have it it's like this interesting curiosity thing um so i decided you know what i'm gonna, i'm giving myself the green light so eventually, I started talking to this girl in my class. She's super huge tits, super tall, almost my height. Um, she was really quiet, and I was like super down. I like you know, I, we would we would kind of kiss after class and stuff. We would do stuff, um, but like never sex. And then one day, I decided you know I'm gonna invite her over to my house. She had never been to my house before. She comes to my house in my little room. My little room is like seven feet by like ten feet. It's a really small little room with a bed in there. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a move. You know, we were watching some cartoons. We were watching some cartoons. I was like, Let's, I'm going to make a move. I think I can get it done. I started, like, you know, take, we're making out. I started taking off some of her clothes, and she's, like, letting me do it. And I'm like, oh, no. This is, like, this is actually going, like, really well. I wasn't expecting this. Um, I start taking off her clothes. She starts grabbing towards my, like, my dick and, like, starts jerking me. And I'm like, oh, oh, wow. This is really happening. I was like, I didn't think I would get this far. I'm kind of scared. Um... I didn't know about foreplay that much, so I'm like kind of just, I don't even know what I'm doing with my hands. I'm like, you know, making out with her a little bit. Uh, I really didn't know what the fuck I was doing, like honestly. Um, luckily, I had some condoms. Um, I had bought, because I don't know, I thought I was like going to be having sex like a lot. I had like a lot of condoms for somebody who never had sex before. Um, pulled them out. Um, didn't even check they were expired. I don't think they were. And I figured it out. I figured it out how to put on a condom, okay? I, like, figured it out. You, like, put it on. I wish I could explain it, how I put it on, because it was kind of weird, but it, it worked. It worked out. Um, uh, 
<laughs> I don't know how to explain what ha what happened because I didn't really foreplay. I didn't really know what foreplay was at the time. I was kind of just like, you know, trying to seal the deal, if I may. Um, I Yeah, so pretty much we had sex is what went down. I put it in. I put my D in her P is what went down. Um, yeah, and... Yeah, we just banged. We banged. I actually lasted a lot longer than she thought I would. She didn't know I was a virgin. That gives you some context of like how fucking talented, naturally talented I am. Um, she, apparently she had already had sex. I was still a virgin. So she had had, she was like a wild child. I did not know this. She started like doing other positions, doing some crazy shit that I was like, whoa, way out of like, I was like level freaking like level one. She was like level 60. Like she was like up there, dude. Like she knew what she was doing moving around, like, doing all this stuff, telling me to do this stuff to her, and I was like, oh, oh, no, <laughs> like, oh, no, <laughs> I was learning too much too fast, it was, like, happening, like, way too fast, um, she, because she had sex with, like, these older fucking guys and stuff, and, like, she was a wild child, and I was, like, this little, nice little boy who never known anything other than, like, this small little cabin, um, which was, like, my body, um, so, yeah, we had sex, but, she told me that she didn't know I was a virgin after I told her. She was, like, very surprised. And I was like, oh, I'll check that as a good, satisfactory. I think she might have just been saying that to make me feel better, but I don't know. Um, anyways, we finished having sex. You know, uh, we kept talking for a little bit. But I, like, you have to understand, I was a boy. I had just had sex. And I, like, wanted to keep having sex. And she kind of, I mean, she was still wanting to have sex. But I kind of wanted to have sex with, like, other girls now. You know what I mean? So I started, like, trying to make up for lost time. I started, like, talking to these other chicks I had talked to, banging other chicks. And kind of, like, we drifted off, obviously, because she wasn't cool with that. Um, I guess she saw me as, like, a good boy. I could, like, lead her to the light. And no, I was, like, going to the fucking dark side. Fucking full Anakin Skywalker, bro. I wanted to bang everything that moved, bro. Um, so, yeah, we broke up. I get, well, we didn't really break up because we weren't really a thing. Like, we were just, like, messing around. We never were, like, official. Um, but, yeah, like, that was my my virginity. I lost my V card um, with that chick. Tall chick, nice titties. The thing that actually stresses me out, though, to this day a little bit is the fact that, like, she had some nice freaking titties. Like, huge, perfect titties. And I didn't, I wasn't aware that other girls aren't like perfect like their titties aren't perfect like hers so it was kind of like like you I had ate like the best chocolate ever and then like now I'm unaware like after that I would still eat chocolate and stuff but it like her titties were so good that I haven't seen titties as great as hers yet I mean man, I've met some about really close but like her titties were freaking fantastic like perfect like just perfect circumference for like nipple size like you know like just texture titties were like I don't know man it's like super sad that she won't talk to me and then also the fact that like she's like you can't even find her on social media like she's like ghost mode bro like she like literally if she died nobody would know and like I don't know dude. it's crazy like she's weird like cause she doesn't want this okay like why why don't you want this dude come on dude like for real dude I think I'm pretty cool so anyways, yeah, that was my uh, my virginity story. If you guys like these, let me know. If you want me to talk about something else, let me know. Uh, yeah, and so like and subscribe. See you guys. She lays down. I like, you know, she lays down. I lay down on top of her. Pam, pam. Um, we have sex.